Previously on The Potentialists. One of my best friends is getting married next week. Went into the changing room, tried them all on. What the hell? I think I'm gonna do this every day, every day. You look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like this is way too short. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. My son and our family decided because of his excessive weight and the fact that we have tried so many different things to get him to lose weight. We tried personal trainers, we tried diets, nutritionists, encouraging him. We tried changing our eating habits and nothing worked. One of the toughest times was when we would go to the parks like Orlando, Florida, or we would go to Rapids and they had a weight limit. I would tell them, these parks are not set up for football players. Guys my size, I'm 6'2 and 240 pounds plus. When I would get into these rides, it would be a little snug so I would kind of inflate myself in order for the ride not to be able to allow me to get on that way he wouldn't feel so bad even though it did bother him it wasn't as bad as it could have been considering that I was also pulled away from the rides so we finally decided to go with a surgery called the gastric sleeve where they go inside your stomach and they end up taking a chunk out of it and what they do they sew basically a sleeve around it because Miles is my son and my oldest one. At the time of the surgery, I was 17. I wanted to make sure that I was making the right choice. However, at the point where I saw where his life was, where his social life was, where he was just moping around and feeling helpless in his life, I thought that this was actually the best choice. And I had excellent doctors that backed us up with these choices. That day we were doing all the pre-checks to be able to see if I was able to actually have the surgery done. Is this mom? Yes. You nervous? You still want an IV. They got like a string looking thing and what happens is they take it to your nose and they put it down to almost your chest area to see the flow of air. It was super uncomfortable. And they actually have you not eat up until the night before because it's a gagging reflex once they put it in there. And how's it feel? You literally came out crying. Yeah. Would you do it again? Don't. <laughs> I had to do a pulmonary function test. They had to see if my lungs were fully developed enough for me to go under anesthesia to go to do that major surgery. The reason Dr. sends these patients to me is because I don't take a poor test. I am very picky. We're going to do four different tests. You got to bite the mouthpiece and see if you'll show up. Now, big breath in, all the way in, and blow hard. Blow, blow, now take a big breath in. Fast, fast, all the way in. Very good. Okay, now, big breath in, and blast it out. Good. Blow the smoke now. It's very sensitive to any movement. Squeeze your cheeks. Ready? Now, take a big breath in. All the way in, all the way in. Let it out. Come on, blow, 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 blow. Touch my finger. Okay, you can come up. Excellent. Hey, yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, Subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?